so uh, I was invited there. I was traveling through Canada at the time. So I was invited to come by and spend the night. And uh, the man took me out to his well and said, no, you can't pour any water in this because it has a sealed top on it. I said, well, that's okay. Uh, let me see what I can do. I'll stay here and I'll talk to the water and see what happens. So when I left, I asked him, I said, now have this water tested at your first opportunity. Well, he did. He wrote me back and said there were, it was down to, I believe, seven parts per million. We had been 48 parts per million in arsenic. And it was below the accepted safe level now. Uh, and I said, well, I think we can do better than that. Uh, give me a little while and let's try it again. Now, you got to remember the first time I'm working on it, they're physically standing over the well. The second time I'm working on it from a distance of about 3,000 miles. So I said, have the water tested again. And that time it, down, it was down to two parts per million. And then I think he had it tested again. There was one slight trace of arsenic in the water. So uh, I thought, well, let's try and see what else we can do. So I set a goal. Uh, when I Usually when I do Skype sessions with people in a foreign country, I want to get their attention. And I want to do them a favor and be nice to them. So I will say, um, what, how does your water taste? Well, almost always they're going to say it's terrible. Has a terrible taste to it. Well, okay, you go to the kitchen, turn the faucet on, let it run about 10 seconds, and then collect you about a half glass of water. Come back, sit in front of the camera so I can see you. Now, take a drink of the water. It's really a good feeling to see that a face light up. As a matter of fact, there is one uh, film out there right now on my YouTube channel, Raymond Grace uh, YouTube channel, uh, of a session I was doing with a couple in uh, Alaska. Matter of fact, they were in my class this weekend. And they said the water there tasted terrible. So uh, feel free to, to uh, look at that. I don't remember what the title of the video is, but um, I don't think it's too hard to find. It's got a different picture on it. I don't really remember what the picture is, but it's different than most of them. I think it has the picture of the two people that were interviewing me. So feel free to watch that uh, uh, on the YouTube channel and uh, get a firsthand experience of really what it was like. But the water tasted uh, tasted wonderful. They had this real surprise expression on their face. That uh, tells you more than the words do. Just look at the expression on someone's face, and if the face lights up and the eyes get big and they're very surprised, you know it worked. That is so true. And to change the water and see what is going on, that is, that is amazing. Amazing. You, you well, have, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I have another story. Uh, I was doing a session uh, in Australia with a group of people. I think maybe 60 some people uh, and at Perth, Australia. And the a talk show host asked if I could clean up the water for Perth, Australia. And I said, well, how many people live there? And he said, about 2 million. I think that's going to be a pretty good job. And I said, well, where do you get your water? And he said, well, there's a lake north of town here. And uh, that's, that's where they get the water and filter it and uh, distribute it to all the houses. Well, I checked the lake. And I said, that lake is terrible.